What's ever up, everybody? Um, I'm gonna show you this video here. Handy reels, tight reels, I don't care what you got. These two wires coming out are never long enough. Now, I hate to put a connector in between or so forth. I like to do it the right way, which means take this cap off here and install this three foot wire. This allows me to, here, let me show you. These are the kind of cages I built for double st stacking hose reels. These things here, it's a roll cage in a car. But in order to wire correctly, you have to add some wire onto these. These are too short. Now, um, first thing, you want to try to figure out what direction it is so you know which one to pause the positive one. Usually, this up at the top one is positive and the lower one's negative, but let's take it, let's make sure. So we've got our little battery here. Perfect. Now we know this one here is positive because we're pulling it this way. All right, so the top one's positive. Now, it's pretty simple to take off. Don't let it scare you. There's a few tricks here. We're going to go ahead and first, with the, it makes it handy if you mark that. There's usually a little notch scratched into this plate here, so it's easy to put on. We're going to take a little marker. If you notice, there's a little scratch right here. They scratch this in from the factory, but we're going to put another mark right here. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and Buzz this out. Buzz this out. And just take, make sure the top cap comes off. Okay, you might need a little screwdriver to get in there. All right. Now, if you notice, our brush is shot in, okay? Don't get scared about that. Let's make sure we push this all back together. All right, the magnet's gonna wanna pull this in. So, remember this top one here, this little ring here pops in this right here, okay? And we have our brushes that popped out, so this is an old trick to do for here. So it's the top one, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and just unscrew this here. There's a nut behind it, so you just gotta watch out for that. Okay. These little plastic caps here. If you get your screwdriver right here, you can just basically pop this out. Squeeze and pull. Be the real booger. Okay, see here you pull that out. Here's the top one, it's out. All right. This little cap here comes apart like this. You're gonna put it in when you put the new wire in, okay? Let's go ahead, feed our new wire through here. Basically, there's a small little tiny nut. All right, now that we got the, the screw on the back of it, we have our, uh, our both of our uh, brushes here. Now we want to feed the wire through. So we're going to just feed this wire through. See it here. And we're going to go take our little clip, put it around the wire. Take this little clip here, put it around the wire here, holding the wire, and we're just gonna squeeze it together. 
and then push it on in there. Now, on the back of these, I like to put a little bit of sealant on the back where these wires come through. Now that we have it apart. Um, so I take a little bit of RTV. Put a little sealant there. Take the screwdriver. Wrap around, it makes it for a nice seal. Now, if you notice this bearing here, there's a bearing and then there's this armature here where the, where the, um, the brushes ride. So we have to get these brushes here pushed all the way back. All right, normally there's a, a hole with a pin. We gotta pop out these little two little hole clips here. All right. So we have two holes. We're gonna go ahead and take the screws that we got. And put these back in here. We're gonna go ahead and put these screws through. Okay, and see now when I had the screws, let me put the other one through here. Take two hands to do it. I usually get it with one. All right. See now what I'm doing here. Let me adjust this a little better. See what I'm doing here is these screws are coming through here. They're grabbing this and they're pulling back on the brushes, okay? And they're pulling it away. We have to get the brushes to go around this last armature. Now there's also a spring in here. This spring goes right in here. In order to hold it in, what I like to do is just take a little dab of red grease, to put a little dab inside, it almost acts like a glue. Not much. Slightest ring in here. Okay, now we got to kind of hold this because the magnet wants to pull it. We got to pull our 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 brushes back. Go ahead and sealed. Popped in there now. Before you tighten these down, do it finger tight. You might have to re turn this a little bit, but always do it finger tight here. Put it on this. All right, and now let's go ahead and test it. With our battery again, We've got plus to plus, minus to minus. Perfect. Everything seems to be running fine. Now those little caps that were on the end, let's just pop them back in. Pop them back in. And now we have a three foot cable. We have red, this is a nice silicone wire here, 10 gauge. And uh, that's the right way to do it. You know, no, uh, no splicing of the wire. This will go right to our relay. We'll go up around it. And I'm gonna show you later how we, uh, we build these stacker kits for these. Most of these, these 18, we have other ones here that we built that are 22s. It's a lot of weight pulling it. And if you look at every rig, you'll see the stacker kits twist. They start to bind. Once they, they start twisting, they also start twisting the frames, which causes the barrels to be uneven. So we build the stacker kits like you could uh, pull a truck out of the mud. But there's a clean way to do it. We do ground these to the frame. Now we have this long wire here that we can feed up, go around and go to a relay. 
and it's done the right way. All right, guys, like I said, I'm going to shoot a video on how we install these and how we build out the relays and the buttons and the circuit breakers, and you'll see that in the next video. All right, bye.